Hi, again, we're at Decorex 2017 with Lasvit. So Lasvit's one of our top lighting brands that we absolutely love talking about and speaking about because they have some of the most beautiful lights you'll ever see in the world. And I'm with the managing director, Pavel. I just want to start off with um, saying, you know, thanks for doing the interview with us. Pleasure. We love having you as a brand. Um, so maybe you just want to take me back to a little bit of how the company started, um, where the designs came from, where the innovation came from, because it is really unique what you guys do. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, basically, we built on a very long tradition of glass making uh, that uh, has been in our country for uh, hundreds of years, some 900 years. Uh, and the fame of Bohemian Crystal was, uh, was really huge in, in the Middle Ages. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thought that it would be great to uh, take this, this craft, this tradition, and uh, add contemporary design on top and uh, really create a brand that would uh, you know, tell, the, tell this, all this story and um, bring it uh, to, to, to the whole world. How did you start off with the contemporary design? So did you appoint a, a designer that was uh, making contemporary design or did you create it from complete scratch or? Well, the, the company started with five people and one project. Uh, it was the Mera Hotel in Hong Kong. And uh, it was always the idea to start with creative people and uh, to, to surround ourselves with, uh, with fresh ideas. And uh, so the company started not as a producer or manufacturer, but rather as a creative, uh, creative company. So you did uh, an installation mm -hmm. in South Korea. Yes. One of the most in highest towers. Yes. Yes. Yeah, lot of tower. yeah. yes. And it was of a diver. Mm -hmm. And it looked like pearls. Yes. It was a pearl, pearl uh, yeah. sculpture, diver. Where did that come about? Mm -hmm. um, why did you do that? Mm -hmm. uh, Basically, every every project we work on, uh, uh, we, we like to tell a story. We work very closely with uh, with our clients and with the architects and interior designers that are appointed for the project. Mm -hmm. In this case, we were collaborating with an art gallery uh, who introduced us to the client, and uh, we were uh, we were thinking and brainstorming with the client of uh, of uh, of uh, installation that would be really unique for the place that would. Uh, that would narrate a story connected uh, to the region and that would really create a statement piece. And uh, it was our creative director, Maxim Welchowski, who, who created this, uh, who, who this idea, this great idea and this, uh, this uh, installation. Why the diver though? Uh, the, the paradiving uh, is, uh, you know, one of these uh, traditional Asian, uh, Asian uh, occupations uh, that uh, that was uh, that was there, and at the same time, uh, we thought that this is bringing like the dream element into the space, uh, and uh, the client liked the idea, and that's why. So, if you had to describe the vision for Last Fit, what what would it be? Well, the the vision of the company mm -hmm. is to be the most inspiring uh, and creative glass company in the world. And have you seen any manufacturing changes over the years since you've joined? And if so, what have those changes been? This is a good question. Uh, the interesting thing uh, in the glass making is that for these 900 years, you would still respect and have the same procedures. Uh, you would work with the, these old molds and uh, the glass growers would uh, use these old techniques. But at the same time, there are almost endless possibilities of, exp uh, of experimenting. So you create new molds, you experiment with uh, new materials. And what we have also done, we have also brought the element of technology. So uh, we have created kinetic sculptures, so dynamically, dynamically lit installations where we work with modern technology, with uh, LED uh, technology, and we, we create uh, uh, you know, very contemporary high-tech installations. So it's the combination of the two. Have you done any interesting collaborations that you're very proud of or ones you might do in the future? Absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. Every collaboration we, we pursue forward is, uh, is interesting in our opinion and we are proud of it. Uh, I would say that we work with young talented Czech designers and we are sitting in front of the Never Ending Glory collection which is uh, one of our best sellers which was created by Jan Plechac and Henry Vilgus, who are young Czech designers, very talented, very edgy work. But at the same time, we work with a uh, legend of Czech glassmaking because we have uh, these guys who 
who uh, were creating during the, the era of communism, they couldn't really go abroad and exhibit and we are trying to, to show the world what, uh, what the world was missing, basically. And, and then we work with the, the big names of uh, world design, like uh, we see here today Kengo Kuma, Zaha Hadid or Ari Klevi uh, at the stand. Uh, and Ken Kengo Kuma, Zaha Hadid are the examples of the collaborations uh, we have uh, uh, done this year. And out of everything that you produce, what is your personal favorite light? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, I personally enjoy uh, the product we did this year with Yabu Pushelberg mm -hmm. called Cypher. Mm -hmm. uh, very interesting collection we have in the portfolio. And then uh, I would say my favorite project would be Sake no Hana, a Hakasan restaurant in London in St. James's Street because it was one of my I think it was the first project I did here in London and it's still one of my favorites. And if there's um, one thing that the company is the most proud of, what would it be? I would say it's the, it's the tradition I was talking about we have in our country and that was disappearing a bit. And it's the fact that they are, we are bringing it to the back to the world again and uh, showing uh, showing uh, industry the industry. industry yeah yeah exactly saving and reinventing an industry yeah that's a so how do you differentiate yourself from from other Czech providers that are you know out there trying to produce crystal lighting how how do you is it just on your contemporary design is it what makes you different than everyone else well. Uh, we believe we are very different. Uh, we believe that uh, our approach is unique. We have a unique company culture, very creative uh, people, uh, very young team. Uh, we are very dynamic and uh, all these people are extremely passionate about what they do. And uh, I, can, I, I think you can really see that uh, in, in the portfolio of, uh, of the collaborations we have done uh, that I was mentioning today from, from Zahadi to Roslav Grof to, to Ken Gokuma. Uh, and uh, I think you can also measure that by the success uh, we have experienced and, uh, and, uh, and that our clients uh, all around the globe appreciate Lasvit and appreciate the brand. It's just a, the, ri the right young talent that you've been able to hone in on and nurture and create and not stay with something too stagnant and reinvent a traditional industry. For sure and also sort of expanding this, uh, this excitement also to our partners, to our clients and uh, you know, there are many people who, who appreciate our work, who support us. And uh, we have, for instance, worked with All England Club, uh, this amazing institution, and uh, they were intrigued by, by our energy and uh, they, they really uh, enjoyed our, our approach and uh, started working with us. So I believe we, we are able to, to, to uh, also expand this energy uh, all around us. And uh, Well, thanks absolutely. very much for your time, Pavel. Always lovely to see you. Thank thanks you. so much.